Hello everyone, welcome to the study hacks institute of GIS and remote sensing. Today's session I will discuss about that how we can easily download the country boundary shape file, not only for the country, all of administrative level area shape file, how we can download freely using this site. I also try to explain about that. So previous time we also discussed about this one site. Basically, this is the Diva GIS site. But currently, this Diva GIS site is uh, under reconstruction. So that's why from this site we cannot download any data. But after a few days, I hope this site is also well. So without this uh, site, we can also use the other site. So basically, this site is that. So this is the site about that. So this link I already added in the video description. You can simply click on this link and you can easily go get this type of interface. So this is the website. Just simply go to this website. And here you can simply go to the below. So here you can get about that to download shape file data GIS for any country. So here you can see this is the one kind of link global administrative areas GADM. Just click on here. So now it open a new link. So here you can see about the GADM maps and data. Just click on the data. So from this data here you can see about that you can download the special data by country. Just click on the country. So now simply uh, just cancel this address. So then you can get this type of things. So here you can see you can simply select your own country. So here you can see all of country name. You can easily find out from here. So any country can simply download your shape file, mainly at best deep areas. So just I simply search here my own country. Suppose I just simply uh, click on this, suppose Bangladesh. So here you can see about that Bangladesh. So now from this Bangladesh, here you can see about that GeoJSON format, KMZ format, as well as shape file format or geo package format. So all of packages we can easily download from here and part of you can also use it. So basically here you can see level 0, level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4. So it's the different types of administrative levels such as level 0 is only for the country boundary. Level 1 is only for that your uh, division boundary. Level 2 is the district boundary. Level 3 is the sub district boundary. Level 4 is that union boundary. So we can easily get all of administrative areas boundary shape file from here. Just click on the shape file. Now it will be downloaded. You can see it will be start the downloading. So for that, you can see we can get. I already downloaded this shape file. So just I simply open and show you that. So we can get that this type of zip file. So for that, this zip file we need to unzip, and for that we can easily use it for our uh, shape file. So just I simply unzip this file. So let me unzip. So just click on here. So here you can see we can get all of those things. So here you can see zero. So all of shape file extension, SSX, SSD, BRJ, DBF. So here you can see zero is only for that uh, boundary. Uh, then one is that division, two is the sub district, two is the district, three is the sub district, and four is the union. So all of those administrative level area, we can easily get it and further we can easily use it for the different types of the special software. So you also you can easily uh, download your any country boundary administrative area from in this shape file. We can easily download. So you also try and for the space any problem, just keep in the comment. I also give the answer about that. So in the meantime, I also give you my announcement for our upcoming online training program on Google Earth Engine. So basically, this is our complete online training on Google Earth Engine for remote sensing and GIS analysis for beginners to advanced level. So this class will be start from the 23 August. So now this is the open. So in this online training program, you will learn all of those things from beginners to advanced level. And uh, in this online training program, if you have no knowledge about the Google Earth Engine or if you have no knowledge about the GIS or remote sensing or JavaScript or Python, don't worry about that. In this online training program, you will learn all of those things from beginners to advanced level. And you can easily apply the Google Earth Engine for the different types of remote sensing analysis very quickly and efficiently. So here you can see about the full details about this online training program for the first day, second day, third day, fourth day, fifth day. And each day, we provide the three hours live training and one hours for your problem solving class. So you can get all of those things from this website. I already added the website link in the video description. You can simply check it. And when you join this online training program, you can get some benefits, such as you can get the course e-certificate. 
after submitting all of assignment you can get the materials mainly slide pdf you can get all of practice code as well as you also get recorded class if you miss any training you can easily get covered it using the recorded class and you can also get the lifetime missing support so it's very important as a beginners because um after completing the total separate this online training program when you work with your real field you face a lot of problem so that's why we are also providing the lifetime teaching support so that's why you can easily learn all of those things properly and apply on your research work so if you want to join this online training program you can simply contact in this whatsapp number as well as you can also contact with this email okay and if you want to get the 50 percent discount on this online training program as soon as possible book your seat and join our whatsapp group and also google classroom so today is no more 